Hello, welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Addiction with Christy. This is episode seven. So, how do addictions come? That's what we're looking at today. What are the doorways to addiction? So, um, the first doorway you will not find in psychology textbooks, but uh, you find that in Romans chapter one and verse twenty-one. Because that they knew him as God, but will not honor him as God, God, and neither were thankful, God gave them up. Now they knew him as God; they did not honor him as God. No problem. But the moment ingratitude came into the picture, God gave them up. The importance of gratitude cannot be overemphasized. This is why Paul said in the book of Romans and Colossians. Cultivate gratitude. Cultivation, if you think of the word cultivation, the first thing that comes to your mind is hard work, is, 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 is strenuous work, is back-breaking work. That means gratitude does not come naturally to us. So Paul says, cultivate gratitude. It's an ungrateful heart that says, Lord Jesus, I know you died for me. You can have my money, you can have my time, but don't touch my anger. Don't touch my adultery. Don't touch my fornication. Yeah, you cannot touch this area. Don't touch my drugs. It's an ungrateful heart that says to God, I have a wife, but she's not enough, so I need a side chick. I have a husband, he's not enough, I need a side cockra. <laughs> cockra, whatever you call them. So, um, that's the first doorway to addiction. That means you have to be intentional about thanksgiving, be intentional about gratitude. The more grateful you are, the less likely you will hold on to anything as a um, must-have. Number two is the addictive society we live in. Um, society attempts to shape our thinking, to shape our perceptions. Uh, every year on the runways, they strip the women more and more naked in the name of fashion. When I was a child, it was women that made women's clothes and they covered them up decently. Now, the highest paid designers for women's clothes are men. And every year, they strip them more and more naked. And then um, you find now, if a woman is crying and saying, oh, my husband committed adultery, they will say to her, is that why you are crying? Is that something new? Uh-uh. Men will be men. They have redefined men to mean mindless gigolos who go after anything in a skirt. And so that's the second doorway, society. The third doorway is very, very potent and powerful is personal trauma. When you've gone through any experience that is so painful, you need to find a coping mechanism for. Now, let me say this very distinctly. Every addiction is a cover for fear or pain, is a coping mechanism for fear or pain, or both fear and pain. If you, if you dig to the root of any addiction, you're most likely going to find a fear or a pain or both of them going. So uh, trauma is fear or pain that is so bad that you need to find a coping mechanism for. So that's the Third doorway is personal trauma. Rape is trauma. Accident and breaking a bone and being in so much pain is trauma. Uh, uh, grief is trauma. Abuse is trauma. Losses are traumas. So all kinds of things that happen to us in life. Uh, the final doorway is, I think, by far the most potent, is family dysfunction. The Bible says in Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 2, what is this proverb that I hear you say in Israel, that the fathers have eaten sour grapes, but the children's teeth are set on edge. That is, in essence, the, the, the definition for this doorway of addiction. The fathers did something, but the children are paying the price. And so um, 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 addiction, um, doorway to addiction, this one about um, family dysfunction is a bent towards iniquity or bent towards sin that lies in a family, that runs in the lineage of a family. So you can find a man who drinks, his son hates the way his father looks when he's drunk, but he grows up to become a drunk. The boy may hate the way the father smelled because he smoked cigarettes. He ends up being a worse smoker than the father. Or things are just there in the lineage. The children don't know they fall into it. Uh, in our next episode, we're going to look at critical examples of... Um, all these um, doorways to addiction, we'll look at examples of them so that you will better 
understand. But if you are a father, if you are a mother, be careful how you live your life. Be careful the seeds you put in the ground. Be careful the allegiances you have. Be careful the gods you bow to. Be careful the things that sway you. Be, be careful where your desires are, the desires that pull you in a certain direction. Because what you may not know is that you are setting a precedence and you are setting up your children to fight wars that they don't have any business fighting. There, my people, are the four doorways through which addictions come. Until I see you in another edition, please be careful. And for me, Happy New Year, this is our year of falling into the arms of Jesus. I'm going to fall into his arms every time there's a challenge, every time there's an issue. I invite you to do the same. Have a good day. Bye.